Every day I get questions in the comments of many of my YouTube videos online and I love helping you guys out. But one of the problems is sometimes those questions are a little bit more complicated than what I can describe in just words. So I've come up with a solution that I can provide an additional service for those that need a little bit more of a visual explanation of how to do something in Adobe Captivate. What I've done is I've come up with a service that I call Video Answers, and you can actually get that from my website. You can purchase that, and I'll provide you a video explanation of whatever question that you have. And the first person to receive this is actually Fundacio Eduard Solar. Fundacio asked, uh, is there a way to insert images into the advanced answer caption apart from the text? And I have a solution for Fundacio and I'll take all of you through that right now. So to start off with, I'm going to click on the smart shape that I have located on the slide itself and we'll open up our properties inspector here. And we're gonna set up this smart shape to be a multi-state object that contains a series of text captions as well as images. So uh, we'll go into state view at this point here. We're starting off with just the blank image and uh, we're going to create a new state and the first state we're going to create is going to be called Justin and Justin Trudeau is the correct answer to this question. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to change our fill style for this smart shape into an image fill and then we're going to click on fill itself and use the folder icon to select an image from our library. If I hadn't already imported these uh, images into my library, I could do so now using the import button one by one. But I already have these, so I'm going to select that and click OK. And now I have an image of Justin Trudeau for this particular state of this object. Now I can add additional objects. Now this is a uh, non-responsive design project, so I can add additional uh, items to this multi-state object. Let's start off by adding this shape here and I'm going to just draw this out something like what I would expect a caption to look like. Uh, we'll change the color to denote that this is a correct answer. We'll choose a color green here and I'm just going to write the text in here. Correct. Justin Trudeau is the Prime Minister of Canada. Click anywhere or press Y to continue. Okay, so that works well. Let's create a new state. And this one will be for Andrew. He is one of the distractors here. And we'll change uh, his state to his image here in this multi-state object. There we go. And we'll also add a caption for him as well. And maybe we'll choose like sort of a hint type caption here. And we'll say incorrect. Andrew Shear is not Prime Minister of Canada. Try again. I'm going to create a new state and we'll do this for Jagmeet. Again, we'll choose the appropriate image fill to be the image of Jagmeet. And we'll add in that smart shape to be a caption. And again, I'll change the color to this and we'll add the previous message I wrote for Andrew, but we'll change it to be for Jagmeet Singh. Oh, I chose the wrong color. Let's do that again. And uh, a new state, this one will be for Mario. Another distractor in this question. And we'll change the smart shape to a fill image and select Mario's image. And like before, we'll add that caption. Let me change the color of the caption first. And we'll just change the name to reflect Mario. 
There we go. So I think we're good to go. Let's, uh, oh, let's change the color again to the right color there. Let's exit the state view. And uh, let's take a look at the specific advanced answer options for each of these. Now for Justin Trudeau, he's the correct answer. So I'm not going to uh, change the multi-state object from here. I'm going to change that from the quiz panel. But for my distractors, I'm going to check advanced answer option. The action will be to change the state of my smart shape to each one of these items. I'm going to uncheck continue playing the project. So again, for Jagmeet, we'll uh, change state of the smart shape to Jagmeet. Uncheck continue playing the project. And the same thing for Mario as well. So we're going to change the state of that to Mario. He's the only one left there and we're good to go. So that pretty much sets up this to automatically change uh, to the different uh, distractors. And we go to our quiz panel and uh, we don't want to select a caption for the correct answer. But on success, what we're going to do is we're going to change the state of Smart Shape 1 to Justin and we can continue playing the project and you'll see the rest of this slide and it would continue with the rest of the project at that point. Um, and of course with um, with this sort of style of, uh, of um, knowledge check, of course, uh, infinite attempts make sense here because you're just really giving them an opportunity to learn what it is that they should have learned in the first place. So I think we're good to go. Let's test this out now. We'll do a preview in HTML5 in browser. So we're now brought, of course, to our question slide here. And let's try a wrong answer first. We'll hit submit. We get the feedback that Jagmeet Singh is not the Prime Minister of Canada. So let's try getting it right. We made a mistake there. Uh, we'll choose Justin Trudeau. We'll hit submit. It changes, and of course, as you saw in the timeline down there, it continued with the rest of the project. So, uh, and of course, you'd want to time your slide appropriately so that uh, this displayed on screen for a long enough period of time. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.